Dr. Akram. Uh, we took a quick break and uh, today, guys, if you're joining now, we are discussing about uh, lockdown, its effects, and if we can find some solutions. And our special guest, uh, Dr. Uh, Professor Zakaria Akhtar from Turkey and uh, Dr. Britta Zangun from uh, Germany uh, on our line. And uh, we are discussing quite interesting things all about lockdown, uh, obesity, and uh, overweight and if there are any solutions. Um, so be tuned. And uh, let's jump into a, a question we have raised. Uh, someone raised uh, through, one of our viewers raised through the Facebook, and that was, uh, is that true that uh, Bengali or Indian people have small heart, that's why the mm -hmm. male population have more heart attack? Dr. Uh, Professor Zakaria, can you answer this question uh, quickly? Yeah, of course, of course, uh, Dr. Ekram, and you, you actually know it better as a, uh, a specialist of anesthesi anesthesiology that uh, anatomically the, there is a rule that uh, the heart of uh, each person is around, uh, around his fist. The so heart of, of each person is around yeah. their fist. So if, if you are if you have a if you are a big man you have a big fist then that means you have also a big heart. If you are Bengali or Chinese or Turk, it, 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 of course the size of the heart will change as well. But the reason uh, there is no information to, known to me that uh, there is a, a man get a heart attack because they are Bengali or no, men. Uh, Genetically, men are more prone to heart attack. But, Genetically, uh, they are more prone to heart attack. Okay. Yeah, yeah but also they are having, uh, they are, they are also exposed to the risks more than women. At least in the past, it was. For example, uh, smoking is a, a, a important. Smoking, yes. Yeah, for heart attack, and uh, men used to smoke more than women. More but than today, women. I, yeah. I, I, I am afraid this one. And this diet is, as well, isn't it? Yeah. Especially the oily food. Yeah. Men in general, they eat more fatty food and... Okay, and okay, and let's go, uh, before and we go calories. into the next question, what are we going to say? The heart is proportional to their body, is that right? Of course. So <laughs> nobody has a smaller heart, nobody has a bigger heart, so it's proportional. Mm -hmm. It pumps enough blood to uh, what it, where it's Makes supposed sense. to go. Is that right? Okay, let's jump into our program questions again. Uh, this is going to um, Dr. Britta Zangon. Let's talk a bit about lockdown and its mental effects. How do we handle emotions and frustrations? How can we keep ourselves busy in the household? Well, that's exactly the point, keep yourself busy in whichever way. I think frustrations come from a, a loss of, of purpose, loss of something to do. For us. Um, but if you busy yourself with the things, and I, again, as I was saying with sports, choose the, the, the kind of movement that you enjoy. It's the same thing with keeping your mind busy. Choose the things that you enjoy doing. Don't uh, just because somebody says you should be doing this, that, or the other. No, see what is yours. Keep do your you mind busy, do what you like, okay? Go ah, ahead, please. Yeah, if it is like, if it's uh, reading, if it's watching a film, if it's um, like for me, it's learning foreign languages. But Foreign languages, out, yes. Yeah, uh, find out what is yours, what you enjoy doing. And maybe this is the chance at the moment in which most of us have more time on our hands than usually, um, maybe this is the, the moment for you to find out what, what have you always wanted to do? Maybe you've always wanted to, to become a photographer or to paint or I don't know, to, you know, whatever it is. So you're this, trying to say use the bad uh, outcome into a good outcome. So you have time to think and uh, yeah. discover what you really like to do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, go yes. ahead, please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, uh, and, uh, and, and there's no end of possibilities, of course. 
Uh, so yes, that's what I would suggest. Um, take a break, think about it. The same with movement. Think about it. What is it you enjoy doing with your mind, doing for your heart and doing with your body and you'll be fine. Excellent, mm -hmm. excellent. Uh, this question, uh, again, again, a Facebook question yeah. through, yeah. Uh, yeah. A Facebook question coming through. Uh, this is uh, going to be for Professor Zakaria. This is during fasting period for Muslim people. Uh, they have small ailments and, uh, you know, they take regular medicines like uh, maybe, let's say, hypertension, which is mm -hmm. controlled, or diabetes, uh, which is controlled. And is, uh, how, uh, how is it for them to fast? Mm -hmm. um, it's very yeah, difficult, I know, understand, it's very yeah. difficult, it's a, very it's a personal question. Yeah. So this without... is a crucial point to discuss, and I think that's not possible to explain, give, uh, give detailed explanation just in, within a, a few minutes here. The, the people who, are, uh, who have some diseases who are using regular medications, and they want also to fast, do fasting. They should discuss this first of all with their with their physician. With they should the, discuss they should with their advice. physicians, the they GPs. They should take a true advice from the physician, and maybe the physician will tell them that it's not good for them to, to do fasting. They should not fast. So uh, this... But many people uh, they can uh, adjust their uh, you know medications, taking it uh, near to the morning time and also uh, during the fast break in the evening and. That, that works. But so, for example, especially for diabetics and the hypertensives who, for whom the medications are very important, life uh, saving, they, they, they should be more careful. And uh, Generally, it's okay to fast. Is that right? Generally, it's okay to fast, but take it's your okay. GP's advice before. For many diseases, most diseases, let's say, it's possible to do fasting and take the medications, but you need to do adjustments. Okay, in let's um, in the timing. Thank you very much. Uh, let's uh, let's see if we could go into the, our next question. How can we divert our mind? Will exercise help in any way? But um, we are locked down. I think uh, uh, Professor Zakaria has, has a special. Um, a special experience where he going to talk about how can we do exercise in a, in a room. I, I, I would like to show you this, this short movie I have taken while I was walking in my, inside the room. Uh, but uh, yeah, you, you mentioned it correctly. I have, unfortunately, I have a bad experience. I was arrested for some time, for, uh, actually 14 months. And uh, when I, uh, when they, when I was a wealthy and healthy and uh, a little bit overweight person, uh, <laughs> the usual people in the street, and they put me in the prison, and I stayed for. Uh, I knew that I will stay for a long time, probably. So you were put in the prison where uh, I heard that uh, yeah. it was not your fault, isn't a, it? I, it I a, had. Uh, they, they accused me. You know, during the, the recent years, we had uh, tough days in experiencing tough days in Turkey. They arrested hundreds uh, of thousands of people because allegedly being a, a member of an organization, but. Uh, uh, now I am acquitted from that, <laughs> by the way. Uh, but uh, when, when I wa was there, I, the first day I realized that, okay, here we are in a, in a room which is actually for six people and we are 14, and it, there is not much place to move. And But, but there is, mo uh, uh, even small, there is some place. And the, the room I could walk in that prison was uh, 10 steps long. I, I, I could walk 10 steps and then I have to turn back and walk to the other direction 10 steps. How much so did you walk in your, in your time I, in the prison in 14 months? The first months? day I decided I, I, I don't want to get out here as a sick man because of not doing exercise and eating the fatty and high calorie food they are giving serving us. So I decided to eat less. I almost did not eat any bread and I uh, walked each day at least two hours. In total, I calculated it is more than five uh, five thousand kilometers. So you walked five thousand kilometer <laughs> kilometers inside a room in a in a prison so cell. Is that right? In a small room, which yeah. is twenty five square meters. So if I walked in this room and I, I entered the prison seventy six kilogram and I came out fifty six kilograms. So I lost. So, 20 kilo. So you went into prison with 76 kilogram and you came out with 56 kilogram. 
Yes. And he walked so, 5,000 uh, miles inside a cell in the prison. Is that right? If I could do it in the prison, you can do it at home, I assure you. So we can do it at home. I saw your video, I think, in that video. Unfortunately, we can't share the screen for some reason. It. But you were reading a book and you were just walking around in, in your room. Is that right? I'm doing it here. When I need to, to, to read, I, I'm, uh, I want to relax from the computer because I'm doing computer work right now. Uh, so while you are uh, reading a book and you're walking around and I, reading, you burn more calories, is that right? It's exactly, exactly. So that's so the point there. When, <laughs> when you sleep, you burn one calorie per, per, per minute, let's say. But when you wake, when you stand up, you start to, because your muscles, they have to be tight uh, to keep you up. So just by while standing, you start to moving calories, uh, cal burning calories. And when you walk, even with uh, small paces, you will uh, burn extra calories. So it is not very difficult to do exercises, or sorry, activities. Oh, you can you even can do it inside your home. You can walk around and burn calories. Is that right? Exactly. Uh, additionally, I am uh, doing sit-ups and push-ups, but this is for the, you know, keeping the muscles tight but walking is the easiest way I think every, everybody can do and it everybody can do okay let's do let's yeah. jump into our next question when everything goes beyond our plans when we don't have control over our lives how can we control our stress emotions this is basically it's uh, it's again in the lockdown it's people don't have control of their day to do activity day to day activities they can't go to school they can't go to work they are bound inside the house and uh, is there any way they can improve their their mentality or brain uh, are there any way uh, is there anything um, uh, dr yeah, uh, Richard, learn, you learning like a to new suggest? language <laughs> Yeah, first I would suggest uh, try to get your mind off of the idea that this is a disaster. There are much worse disasters than not being able to leave the house. If that's all the problems you've got, well, congratulations. Okay, we are safe, we have a roof our, over our heads, we have medical care, we have enough to eat, uh, we have a, a television and an internet and books at home. So let's face this, it's not a disaster. We just have to adjust. To, it will be unfair to people who do live disasters in many parts of the world to imagine that we are living a disaster. Okay, so this said first, I think, um, and now, so calm down and just calmly think of what is the chance I can take from this. As I said before, this is the chance to do things that you've always wanted to do. And these days with modern media, like I Skype about every second or third day, I Skype with tan so-called tandem partners. You find them on the internet. The idea of a tandem partner is that you get together with somebody who wants to learn your mother tongue and you want to learn his or her mother tongue. Again, so, it's, 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 you call it tandem partner. Uh, yeah. the two people, have, they speak two different languages. Yeah. And yeah. you meet up and uh, go ahead, yeah. please. And how do, how, do we, how do you proceed with that? Well, you simply, so you fix, I would, I would very much suggest that you fix the rules, so to say. Otherwise, it, it, um, I have my problems whether it'll work. So say, like with my French tendon partner who, who works full, who's all of them are many, many years younger than I, for whichever reason, all my partners. So he still works full day. Um, so uh, for him, 90 minutes once a week is enough. Fine with me. It could be 60 minutes a week. It could be twice a week. So 90 uh, minutes could, once a week and it's uh, fine. Sure. you talk different language. Is that right? And then, and then half of the time we talk only one of the languages Perfect. and the other half of the time we talk the other. Don't mix. Don't mix. It's not a good idea to okay. mix them. So I you think. meet with a person who speaks a different language yeah. and you set up a time. Half yeah. the time you speak your language 
and uh, with that person in the next half yeah. he, you speak the other person's language we got seven minutes left guys and there is a quick question for professor zachary actor um uh -huh. Uh, can we discuss about a diet plan which every person can follow quickly? I want to do it this in one or two minutes quickly. Yeah, let me try to squeeze it into two minutes, but I'm afraid it will not be possible. Uh, as we discussed throughout the program, there are two things we have to do. Ex uh, do physical activity exercise and uh, abstain from eating too much. But this is the, there is no other rule, no miracles here. But uh, how we will get stick to this, uh, uh, apply to this, I could suggest to uh, scorecard, use pipes if you can listen to me and repeat maybe uh, with your own words, Dr. Akram, that the, the audience could understand and apply it to their lives, sustained and lifelong, uh, keeping healthy. One uh, is before you before you start eating, prepare a serving plate and so look. Before you start eating, prepare your plate and put enough food. What you going to plan to eat? Yes. One. Plan it. Plan it and keep, uh, adhere to the plan. Once you prepare to the plan, your uh, serving plate. Yes. And no the second, second time serving, guys. No, only one plate and only you one see plate. it and you decide I, that I am going to eat and you eat it. That's finished. Then the second point is beware of the calories. There are food which so has you, very uh, few calories. You have to know example, the amount of one, calorie you are eating. So beware the, of the calories. Yeah, the How past, much does a normal person be, uh, need? How many calories does a normal person need? For example, there are, as I said, I need currently around 1,700 so 1, calories 700 a day. So 1,700 roughly uh, if a I, person. If I, if I eat one cucumber, it is seven calories only. So one but cucumber is seven eat, calories. If, if, I, if I eat a cake, it is 250 calories. So imagine how many cucumbers I can eat instead of eating a cake. So, uh, we should know the uh, approximate uh, calories of the yeah. food. The yeah. third point is eating slow and chewing. Eating you slow eat, and yeah. chewing, yeah? No rush. No rush. Take small bites, small bites, and chew them. I, uh, 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 we have 32 uh, teeth, you know. I advise my patients to chew it 32 times. So how many times do you teeth. have to chew the food before you swallow it? 30 times. 30 times. Minimum 30, okay. count it, and get used to it. By this way, the signal from the stomach will travel to the brain and tell your brain that there is uh, glucose in the blood and uh, no need to eat anymore. You will have the satiety, the feeling of satiety. So what we, let, let me explain food. that point to the viewers. Uh, what he says is when you chew, when you have when you take enough time and you chew the food, the, the stomach has enough time to send the message to your brain thinking that this guy is eating and he will be, that food will be enough. The fourth point is, fourth point, as you yeah. mentioned right in the beginning of the program, that you said about the prophet's life. He was not eat, eating much, only twice a day, they say. So uh, also today, the doctors the advising, you should have a gap between your meals, at least five hours. At least five hours, don't eat anything, even no snacks, no sugar, no candies, nothing. So uh, in between meals, no, five hour gap and you don't five eat hours any gap. food? During these five hours, you can only drink water, nothing else. Keep away from the food for five hours, and then when it's time for the meal, again, plan and eat. And the uh, fifth point is, of course, doing physical activity, which means at least 10,000 steps a day, or it is approximately equal to one and a half hour walking. 10,000 steps a day, or one and a half yeah. hour walking. You can use, a, uh, I have here in my arm, a, a step counting bracelets, which is uh, easily counting your steps. So then that will motivate you to uh, adhere to the 10,000 steps. Professor Zakaria, so shall, we, have, shall we repeat? If you, yeah. Shall we repeat all five, five steps? Five five. Shall One, we repeat them again? Again, of course. See what you eat, plan it. Plan then it. Know, know the calories. So know the calories. Select the product. Eat slow and chew. Eat slow and, and chew. Uh, 
Yes, stay away from food at least five hours. Stay the, away from food in between the, meals, five hours. And, and do uh, activities. Do like 10,000. 10, if you do five or five, or, uh, you're, you're, you're a five star uh, eater. Have a five star that's, nutrition score. That's card. amazing. I, I can guarantee you. Thank you very you. much. I'm going to give one uh, minute to uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Britta, do you want to add anything to uh, this talk, uh, this last bit of the talk? I would just want to stress again, emphasize again, whatever you do, don't forget it should be enjoy. You should be enjoying what you do. You know, all kinds of rules. Of course, the, um, um, Professor Zakaria is totally right. Only it sounds like stress, not like fun. And life should be enjoyable. Otherwise, life should it be won't enjoyable. work. You, so enjoy, joyful. Yeah. So find a way of. Of, of finding enjoyment in it. And one way of putting enjoyment into it is look into the mirror. Uh, don't underestimate how important it is that you like yourself. You want to like what you see in the mirror. And most obese people don't like what they see in the mirror. So keep and looking at your mirror. Yeah, so keep looking at yourself and look at the uh, at, at the progress you're making and enjoy that one day you look as slim and lovely as you used to. Thank you very much. That's a, that's a great point you said. Uh, look at your mirror and uh, admire yourself. <laughs> right? Okay, thank you guys. It was really nice talking to you. Thank you. Thank I wish you. I had thank more you. time thank and we would have talked yeah. more about thank it. You. Professor Zakaria, okay. Uh, Dr. Brita Zangan, it was a real okay. pleasure thank having you. you here and thank you very much uh, for you it all being with us in this show and, uh, and we have talked especially about uh, the lockdown and a uh, little bit of about obesity and uh, overweight and the possible solutions. Please watch this video again, it, it went really fast but hopefully you could Take a few messages home. The five things from the Professor Zakaria and uh, one point from uh, uh, Dr. Zangan. That's just be happy. And I want to see you guys happy. See you next time in the same program. Uh, Ion's Health Talk with Dr. Akram. Thank you.